John Bruchot or Keystone Bouchard in Second Life, and um, I am author of the Arch blog and uh, architecture manager of Architecture Islands and uh, founder of Studio Wikitecture. Um, I'm coming at it from an architectural perspective, so what excites me is um, the ability to uh, help visualize uh, the built environment before it's before it's realized and so for, for professional architectural uses I think it's exciting but also from a perspective of um, architectural uh, opportunities that are based on the native or inherent opportunities of virtual worlds um, in a place where there's no gravity or elements to protect from I think that there's uh, a new uh, opportunity for a whole new language of virtual architecture to emerge so that's definitely something that excites me. concerns as much as I have um, expectations, things that I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm obviously interested in the ability to import and export existing CAD content from uh, professional architectural software like AutoCAD or Revit. Um, and I'm also concerned a little bit about the fact right now that it's uh, very game-like and people don't take it as seriously as I think they could be. Um, but I think those are things that will naturally be overcome in the future. surprising I would say is the ability to completely invert the cycle of production and design. Um, I think that there's an opportunity to use virtual worlds to kind of invert the design and production process and allow kind of a decentralized group of individual collaborators to work together um, to create something that's bigger than the sum of its parts. Kind of like what's being demonstrated with uh, Wikipedia or open source software. I think the same can be true for three dimensions. I think people can work together to create um, physical products as well. I don't think that the success of those principles is just limited to information goods. Um, in the long, long run, I, I, I'm not sure that there's anything, but I guess in the short term it'll, it'll be very difficult to overcome the value of uh, physical presence. Being in the same place with somebody will always have kind of a, a magic to it that I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that virtual worlds will be able to overcome, but I, I never say never. <laughs> and, uh, well, in the long run, how do you feel that that'll actually be able to be dealt with? Um, I think just a uh, higher and higher uh, fidelity and resolution of, of um, uh, you know, the, the cameras that can absorb your three-dimensional content and, you know, ver very uh, uh, map very accurately your three-dimensional presence um, might take steps towards bringing that together, but I still think that there's kind of an energy or a magic between people in, in real life that uh, virtual worlds might not be able to completely replicate.